Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to be filming this video for you guys today. I wanted to kind of get personal with you guys and open up to you guys a little bit more and tell you guys some things about me and also just do something fun versus just doing like the everyday tutorial or every time I upload a video it's a makeup tutorial or a review. So this is going to be just a relaxing video, get ready with me slash get to know me or fun facts about me. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to word this yet um, for the title. But yeah guys, welcome to my channel. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My name is Alexis Jones and this is what I do for a living. I love filming makeup videos and all things fashion, lifestyle and just craziness in the beauty industry. So let's get started. Let's look at my facts. Okay, so fact number one. Okay. Oh my god this is gonna be so weird explaining this because i'm like an adult but fact number one is i hate with a passion hate 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 sleeping in the dark like i'm so freaking scared of the dark i'm gonna go in with some of the huda beauty um pound cake powder and i'm gonna apply that onto my t-zone area just because you guys know already i get super oily um but yeah 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 i don't like sleeping in the dark i'm such a scary person like Sleeping in the dark literally is not for me. And by the way, guys, I got this video idea from Aaliyah J. Um, she just posted a video like about her top five secrets or get to know her or whatever the case may be. And I thought it was super cool that she did that. Um, so I wanted to do something similar to that, but not just like sitting down talking the way she did it. I wanted to kind of like do my makeup too. So shout out to her for um, giving me this idea. And I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly who she is. Um, we all do. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying that powder all over, but I really, 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 really hate sleeping in the dark. Um, I have a huge fear of it, and I think it's just because I shared rooms with my brother up until I got married and moved out. Like, I was 19 years old, well, 20 years old when I got married and moved out, so I never had to sleep alone. Like, I always slept with somebody in my room or in my bed with me, like, so it was just like... I never really knew how to like sleep in the dark if that makes sense because I was always with somebody so I was never scared to sleep in the dark or, my, or sleep in the dark because my brother was always in the room with me and then once I got married and moved out and I married someone who's in the military he deploys a lot and I like instantly start freaking out like it's so bad to the point that when my husband's not home I sleep with my light on in my bedroom or my bathroom door light or something like that like I cannot just sleep in the dark like it just it just does not work for me I feel like I can't even leave my closet door open at night guys that's how crazy it is like, I can't leave my closet door open at night because I feel like my clothes are like Michael Myers like I legit start seeing faces so I'm gonna go in with my my Huda Beauty um, foundation and I'm in the shade 430 neutral and I just did one pump and you guys know I like to apply this with my hand first and then apply it to my face so I don't, I really, I honestly can't even tell you. And I'm going to blend that out with my beauty sponge. Blend out my forehead first because I noticed that when I put powder under my foundation, if I don't, um, if I let it sit for too long, that part of my face just like dries instantly. But yeah, guys, I really, I don't know what the hell that's about, but I cannot sleep in the dark by myself. And it's only been like that since I've been an adult. Like that's weird. I don't know. A fun fact number two guys oh my god I love home renovation shows like oh you guys don't even understand like when I tell you guys I freaking love like HGTV channel like I want to build my own house I, I don't even know how to explain it. I literally have an obsession with watching HGTV my favorite TV show is fixer upper um, with Chip and Joanna literally my favorite TV show I want to build my own house but that's like the only home renovation show that I really really like actually like like and enjoy but I don't know like I love building stuff I don't even know how to explain it guys I'm just like all over the place but I, I have so many things that I really 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 enjoy doing and building stuff and making stuff is definitely one of them I wish you guys could see it. I have like this seven foot mirror that I built myself like the framing and everything I did myself and then I have a coffee table that I built myself um my dresser over here i sanded it down repainted it repurposed it i did all of that myself guys but yeah i love home renovation tv shows one of my biggest like dreams and stuff is to like build my own house i love home renovation shows like i can't i want to have 50 acres of land like i have an obsession with going on um realtor.com and I look up houses like everywhere like Aspen Colorado I found some houses that I fucking love um 
like um, North Carolina. I lived in North Carolina for a few years, so I love North Carolina, um, Raleigh, North Carolina specifically. Um, the houses out there are freaking beautiful. Um, and I think I'm picking, I like to pick those kind of places like North Carolina, um, Colorado, like Missouri, those kind of places because I want to be able to have land. Um, that's one of my dreams. And I think it's because I grew up without like, having my own space if that makes sense like I always lived in apartment buildings I had lived my mother my mom was a single mom and we didn't have the money or the luxury of having a house and you know having our own bedrooms and stuff like that so I want to be able to have that and I want my kids to be able to have that whenever I decide to have kids I don't want I don't want to live close to anybody if that makes sense like I don't know I feel like I'm rambling I feel like I'm not making any sense you guys are probably looking at me like I'm crazy but I know what I mean like I don't want to live close to anybody and I just want a bunch of land. I just feel like I just have to have a bunch of land. I don't know why, maybe I'm crazy, but I have to have a bunch of land and I don't think I want anything less than like 40 acres. Like, I'm sorry, that's just what I want. Like, I don't know. And it's weird because I didn't grow up having a lot of land or my own house or anything like that. So I think that's why I want it because I didn't grow up having it. But yeah, guys, that's a fun fact about me is I want a bunch of land and I want to live in the middle of nowhere where nobody will bother me. Fact number three is I feel like, okay, this is weird, but I am huge. Like I get depressed really easily and I have really bad anxiety. People don't know that about me. Like not even people in my family, people that have been knowing me for years don't even know that I, I, I struggle with this, but I struggle with depression like nobody's business. Like I get depressed so often it's not even it's not even funny my husband already knows like when I'm depressed I need to be in some light I need to like be by the beach or I need I need something so fun fact number three is I cannot live anywhere that does not have like natural light in my apartment like I have a huge like floor to ceiling um what is it called like patio and in my room I have a huge window all my furniture is like all my furniture is like um like gray and white and like wood and even the wood is like a light color wood but I cannot live somewhere that does not have natural light um I think it just like messes with my depression and my anxiety like if my house is dark I start feeling depressed like I start feeling depressed I start feeling sad and I never know why and then I'm like okay well let me go for a walk or something and then I feel better and I noticed that that happens when I'm in a place that's really dark, whether it's whether it's like a physical place that I'm in or whether it's like a mental place in my mind. Like I don't like being in dark spaces because it just puts me in a dark space. Like if that, if that makes any sense, like I cannot live in a place that does not have natural light. I know that there are other people in this world who deals with depression as well, but um, comment down below and let me know how you guys deal with it because I'm still learning how to deal with depression and anxiety and I feel like the older I get the worse it gets I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody but the older I get the worse my anxiety and depression gets and I'm trying to like work on it like I've been reading a bunch of books about healing and I don't know why I'm getting emotional I feel like I'm gonna cry I've been reading a bunch of books about like healing and like oh this video was not supposed to go here okay hold on I'll be right back okay I'm gonna try this again so I've been reading a bunch of books about like healing and like um, letting go of past hurt and like all that kind of stuff and healing old wounds and expressing myself more and it's actually really been helping me along with like being in a place that has like a, not, a lot of natural light and stuff like that. as you guys can see my background is natural and like light and just little things like that like I just have to have um, but yeah guys that's a fun fact about me fun fact number three I believe is that I I get depressed really easily like I don't know <laughs> um, I'm gonna apply my Huda Beauty powder in the shade pound cake with my morphe m438 brush um, after I blend out these creases but fun fact number four is that I cannot poop or wash the dishes or do anything cleaning related or anything like that without having shoes on my feet I know it's the like weirdest thing but I feel like <clears throat> well, it's not even like I feel like this powder <coughs> has a smell to it. If you guys haven't seen, I posted a um, review on Huda Beauty. Um, it will be the video that I just I actually posted it a few minutes ago. But yeah, I posted a video on um, the Huda Beauty brand. So make sure you guys go check that out. But I cannot poop or wash dishes or even let my feet touch the floor, like my hardwood floor, without having like shoes on. If that makes sense, my feet just itch really bad. Like. I used to think that I was allergic to all tile, like literally, and I still think that sometimes. 
but I cannot like walk on the floor without having shoes on my feet or like if I try to poop and I don't have any shoes on like I will literally run around the house trying to find some sandals or something like I don't know what the heck that's about but I've been like that like my entire life I have to have something on my feet and if I can't find anything on my feet I grab a towel that's in the bathroom and I put it on the floor and I put my feet on it and then I can poop but if I don't have anything on my feet it's just the weirdest thing like my feet just itch so bad or and it's the same thing when I wash dishes like my feet just itch really really bad I don't know did that happen to you guys like am I crazy I don't know my mom like used to laugh at me as a kid because I couldn't like I just couldn't do it like even when I took a shower I had to have shoes like in my shower room when like in the bathroom with me so when I got out to shower my feet didn't touch the floor I don't know it's just weird fun fact number five I have a few different fun facts after this so I might just tell you guys just as many as I can think of um fun fact number five when I was younger I did two stupid things okay um I think I was like five or six I don't know but um, my mom gave me a pamper my little brother's pamper and she was like you know Alexis go throw this in the trash go take this outside to the dumpster and throw it in the trash so me I don't know why but I had this like vendetta against my neighbor it was a guy and I just hated him so much and I'm, I don't know why like to this day I know that I hated that guy and I genuinely do not know why I hated him um, but I did so I took my brother's poopy pamper and I threw it in my neighbor's car literally he had a nice car too y'all it wasn't like no crappy little like I don't know like 1967 Honda or nothing like that no he had like the like like a Mercedes like a bomb Mercedes at that time and so my, I came back you know I'm prancing around the house and mom's like oh did you go take the pamper to the trash I'm like yeah mom like I threw the pamper in the trash and the whole time I'm like giggling you know inside like haha like I just threw the pamper in the neighbor's car he'll never know it was me girl please he brought the pamper the, the poopy pamper to my door to my mom's door and told my mom that I threw it in his car and when I tell you guys my mom said she was so freaking embarrassed and she asked me why did I do it and I told him I was like because I don't like you just like that I was like five years old I'm like because I don't like it because I don't like him and my mom was just like she's like I was just so freaking embarrassed like I didn't know what to say all I kept saying to the guy was I'm sorry and I was just like well I don't know but I don't know why I do stupid stuff like that and then um another thing it's still there to this day next time I go over to my uncle Frank's house I'm gonna have to take a picture of it and show you guys but I also was upset or bored one day and I decided to take a black permanent marker and write Alexis on my uncle Frank's garage and that was like 15 years ago 20 years ago almost and it's still there to this day okay guys well this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know that it's a little different and it was probably a little all over the place one because I was really nervous to film this and to just tell you guys my five or my five fun facts about me um, I was kind of a little nervous to do that and I kind of got a little emotional in the middle of filming it but it's okay you know it's life it happens um, but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos like this uh, more videos of me opening up and becoming more personable with you guys I think the word I'm looking for is personable um, then leave a comment down below and let me know ask me some questions so that I can um, film a Q&A for you guys but as always guys please don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye guys!